Hi, this is Liz Daly. I'm going to demonstrate the first four setup rows for the river shawl for our newest knitter knit along that String Fairy Yarn Company has going on. A couple of you requested this video and this evening's knit along class. Um, and for those of you who couldn't make it, here's um, a couple tips on how to get started. So the first thing you want to do is cast on one stitch. And how you do that is you make a slip knot. So how I make my slip knot is I wrap it around my two fingers. I put the yarn to the back. And then I take my needle and I pick up that yarn that was in the back. Put it on top of that circle that you just made and pull it. That's how I make my slip knot. So then what you do is the instructions say on your right side, KFB, so knit front and back. I'm going to do this continental and then I'll do another one throwing. So this is knit front and this is knit back. So then you want to knit front and back. KFB is what the pattern says. So how you do that continental wise and then I'll make another video of throwing. So you go into the front of the stitch like you normally would knit. You give it a little tug a little bit closer to you and then you knit into the back of the stitch. And then you take these off of your left needle and complete the stitch. So now you have two stitches. So then set up row number two, if I grab the right yarn, is you're going to knit front and back twice. So you knit like normal, and then you knit into the back of that stitch, and then you pull it off the left hand needle. So knit into the front, knit into the back, and then take it off your needle. So you have four stitches now. Set up row number three is you knit two stitches like normal. One, two, and then you make one left. Now when you make one left, you want to pull the stitches apart a little bit and see this bar right there, right by my thumb? You want to pick it up from the front, take your needle from your front, Every work to the back of the work and then you knit into the back of this loop and sometimes it's tricky to get on your needle into the back and then you knit two stitches so now you have five stitches on your needle so your last setup row is going to be knit four one Two. Oh, I'm sorry, it's not knit four. I knit to the last two stitches. So I have two stitches left. You pull the stitches apart a little bit and you pick up that bar, that straight leg from the front to the back, and then you knit into the back. And it cl closes it up, and then you knit two stitches. So that is your setup row.